we're looking at the second part of redox questions from the 2015 Regents exams and we're left here to do questions 6, 7, and 8. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and select this and make it a little bit bigger so it's easier for me to see and hopefully for you to see. Remember that the PDF file for all of these questions by topic are on the website and all you need to do is click on it and print it out. I would work on them first and then come here to check out explanations to the questions. All right, so let's get started. Again, I have a reading passage here, and there's this line here at the bottom that is an indication that these three questions go along with all this information. Sometimes you need the information, sometimes you don't. Depends on the region's questions and the test for that time. So you just use it. Make sure you read it first, I would suggest, and then start answering questions. Okay, so question... Six is asking you to state why early scientists classified the reaction represented in equation one as oxidation. All right. So it's already here in the reading passage. And that's, of course, because it says early scientists define oxidation as a chemical reaction which oxygen combined with another element to produce an oxide of that element. So you could just say because oxygen reacted with CH4, to form CO2. There's your answer. Let's go on to number seven. Determine the change in oxidation number of carbon in equation one. All right, so we're isolating now on carbon. Carbon starts out with hi yeah, hydrogen as methane, and then it goes to carbon in carbon dioxide. So in order to figure out the oxidation number for carbon, we have to look at the oxidation number for the other element. So for hydrogen, the, the oxidation number is a plus one. Now, if you take a look at the reference table, it also has minus one, but that's when hydrogen is bonding with a very active metal, particularly group one and group two. That's not here. Most of the time, hydrogen's plus one. I want to know the oxidation number for carbon. Now, it's a compound. Everything has to multiply up and equal zero and I have one carbon I don't know what the oxidation number is I have four hydrogens each with a plus one but everything has to add up to zero so I have X plus four is equal to zero X is equal to a minus four okay so carbon starts out as a minus four and in the case of carbon and CO2 well, everything has to add up to zero again. Now for oxygen, oxygen's oxidation number is a minus two, and you have two of them. So I have minus two times two. And for carbon here, this is my X, is only one, so it's X times one. So X minus four is equal to zero. X is equal to a plus four. So the oxidation number went from a minus 4 to a plus 4. Finally, in question 8, you're asked to write a balanced half reaction for the oxidation that occurs in the reaction represented by equation 2. Well, this is the third time now. So every test in 2015 had a student balancing a half reaction for oxidation. And this is the third one. Okay. So I take a look at magnesium. I'm going to go ahead and erase everything here so that we can see it a little easier. I need the oxidation number, the change for magnesium. And you'll notice, of course, do it in red. Magnesium is by itself, has an oxidation number of zero. Now magnesium was with sulfur. Magnesium's oxidation number, well, magnesium only is plus two. So it's plus two. So it's going from magnesium with a zero to, well, it looks like a six, let me make that a zero, to magnesium with a plus two. And what's happening is, of course, it's losing two electrons. So there is my half reaction for magnesium. Keep working hard. Do as many questions as you can. Repeat questions that you got wrong, and good luck.